good morning everyone hope everyone is doing well student as you are ever that today mr sarda prashan muduli corporate revenue manager in lords hotel and so will share his views and help us to expand our knowledge on role of revenue management in hotel industries so sarda sir you can proceed now yeah good morning Uh, mr choudhary good morning and uh, good morning students good morning sir good morning sir why you are good so morning, low sir. little energy good morning everyone good morning, good morning sir. sir good morning sir good morning sir, good morning, sir. Yes. yes that's the spirit okay now today uh we mr choudhary and both were speaking about uh, you know how the revenue management is going to help our uh, our uh, next generations or future generations and what are the implications of uh, you know before i going to start it i need to volunteer you know uh, some uh, some of you just simply uh, no only uh, you read of uh, uh, students uh, you can just tell me what is on your concept what do you know uh, what is your uh, thinking about revenue management just quickly volunteer yourself nothing you know just whatever you know anyone anyone just anyone i i, I don't uh, you know want to uh, like uh, you know uh, go by names anyone just simply tell what do you mean by revenue management in hotels anything anything i mean whatever you know whatever you think it is uh, you know going to be uh, like uh, you know uh, uh, your knowledge about revenue management in hotels uh, your knowledge about revenue management in revenue uh, hello sir yeah yep yeah, tell me hello sir uh, revenue management means uh, what we gain from the customer like money तो मैनेज कैसे करना है हमको होटल में क्या क्या बस चेंजेस करना है इस मनी से हमको पूरा होटल मैनेज करना है करेक्ट एनीवन इंटरक्टिव डोंट वरी नो बडी विल कॉट यू व्हाट यू से इवन इफ इट इज रॉन्ग इट इज ओके anything any anything just piece of knowledge that's it just let me know whatever you know sir yes jo revenue hota hai usse hum apna jo pehle kharcha hota hai wo nikal lete aur usme Absolutely, you know. Anyone else uh, would like to try? Anyone else? Anyone else? Um, revenue like? management is, in short, yes. a management of a hotel. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell. Me. not uh, listen properly um revenue management is actually a management of a hotel as revenue only manages the all the functions happening in the hotel right 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 yes yes one part is correct okay last one what's your name sorry um amrita amrita okay thank you amrita any one of uh, our leaders future leaders anyone would like to have a try again
okay okay no show sure. i'll i'll just go for that okay now whatever you told you know manan amrita and the first uh, first gentleman i forgot about his name uh and identify yourself what's your, what was your name i i just uh, forget to ask you what's the name in the side okay 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 see uh, you know in revenue management it was basically uh, what we what we uh, today come to know about revenue management why it is so important first i'll i'll just simply summarize in one sentence revenue management is basically involved in each and every section of our hotels be it in a front of front office man, uh, room division be it in a uh, your uh, food and beverage and be it in your other uh, you know point of sales so combinedly revenue management what is exactly agar, if you if you summarize in one sentence so a revenue means we know it is our revenue money the the, the money flow the, the amount is coming to our industry the amount is coming to our uh, you know uh, hotels is called revenue so revenue comes from primarily uh, you know the revenue comes from room division food and beverage and other outlets like you know your uh, 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 maybe somewhere the health club is there maybe somewhere the banquet is there again uh, that's different different source of uh, our revenue we are getting it uh, you know so managing you know revenue is basically today a very important because there is a lot of source of business today available for our revenue okay anyone anyone uh, are we aware about uh, what is the difference between because before going to revenue management i i will i will go for a two very important uh, part of the revenue management which are our market segment and business source so what is market segment and what is business source okay so market segment means a particular segment of market which is providing a business to your hotel and business source means the particular source of business that particular any market segment of business is coming from that particular source okay so now in in any of the hotels market segment varies place to place location to location and uh, uh, a single market segment can be contributed from multiple business sources so i'll i'll give you a brief a little bit brief data of what kind of what, i mean normally in a lodge hotels what is our market segment okay now in market segments uh, i'll say that uh, you know you must be you must be going through during your tra- uh, study uh, during your course of uh, you know educations you must know that market segment is divided into so many aspects one your corporate your travel agents uh, uh, fixed rate your corporate uh, you know volume guaranteed rate which you call it cvgr then your uh, you know mice group rate weddings your uh, you know um, uh, beat in a piece psu contracted rate a beat in a you know these are different 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 uh, you know your walk ins customers so these are your different different market segments uh, and your business source is basically uh, what is the main business source is your first business source is your hotel reservations then hotel sales then your regional offices then your online distribution channel okay. uh, you know and then your your uh, top management or corp- you know your core management or corporate team and last some some where the banquet sales and main uh, the hotel sales are divided into two different teams so obviously the banquet sales also contributes so these are business sources so these both indicators market segment business source while 
you 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 all must be aware of any hotel having a particular budget are you uh, are you all about aware that there is a budget for a hotel must be aware so during the preparation of a budget these market segment and business source plays a great indicator for the revenue management so now the next part is okay now the, we we come to know okay these are the very two uh, indicators now, how, what is the next role of player in the revenue management okay now we know any hotel has been uh, you know uh, fixed or uh, any hotel has been uh, you know uh, fixed with uh, one of the like a uh, uh, you know budget so when we prepare a budget so when we prepare a budget the so budget is basically divided into many aspects you know our revenue uh, and which part how the revenue will come what much of revenue come so that is we have been know so we know for my hotel there is a certain amount of budget has been fixed so how i will you know uh, then my next question will become how much this revenue will come so there are different uh, as i said the source of revenue number one revenue as i said sales sales and sales and sales our sales team our sales team great great force of power to the any hotel so they do they contact the hotels they contact the uh, you know travel agents they contact the even man even management companies for the chunk of business for that particular hotel now the next part is very important to come so how it is going to be indicator for a our hotel for the revenue management so we know if i am given an example hypothetically if i am a 50 rooms hotel and i am targeting uh, uh, 40 lakh of revenue monthly so that means i, I can't say 40 plus uh, uh, 40 plus uh, for lakhs of revenue will come from only one source as i said so that means i need to divide into different aspects to different aspects of our aspects like some percentage will come from uh, you know some percentage that come will come from uh, uh, my sales team some percentage come through my reservation some percentage come to my uh, walk in some percentage some, some percentage will come from my gds my website my online channels so i go to deeper deeper section now so this is my this is the, this is the hotel works on revenue management so what is the revenue manager do in normally hotels so earlier there is no concept of revenue manager but today every hotel has a revenue manager fixed and a revenue team is very important a very very important for a hotel now the question will come how we we'll are going to manage how to going to create a revenue management cycle in a hotel initially when a hotel is handed over to a revenue manager what kind of what kind of things a revenue manager do so revenue manager do follow the basic principle of arr and repa okay suppose one budgeted arr is there a budgeted repa is there so we have to run the system in such a way that we suppose my per day i have a fixed revenue of 70% or 75% of uh, occupancy that means i have to consider i have to be my i have to manage entire days of entire days and periods prior to that date so today if we are sitting all sitting on a today and my hotel is on a uh, you know maybe 50% occupancy so that means i might not properly run my revenue management earlier so that my 50% occupancy is today vacant and i can't i can make it full on the same day i have to plan it i have to prepare a, a proper plan for how to fix this what rate what i mean uh, we have to fix it on a, on a different perspective of entire forecasting you all know about forecasting any idea about forecasting 
okay i'll explain you forecasting means projecting my next 365 days depending on the events cycles you know mere alag alag city mein kya kya hai agar mere mujhe pata hai main agar surat mein baitha hu aur mere surat hotel mein aaj agar main mere paas budget hai 50 lakh ka to इसका मतलब क्या हो गया इसका मतलब मेरा हर एवरी हर दिन का रेवेन्यू मेरा प्रोजेक्शन करनी है डेढ़ लाख रुपए का तो डेढ़ लाख रुपए में कैसे करूंगा मैं मेरी मार्केट सेगमेंट बिजनेस सोर्स को इंडिकेटर करते हुए मेरे सिटी में क्या क्या इवेंट्स हैं, कौन सा डेट में कितना रूम मेरे को आ सकता है मैं उसके लिए उस तरह के प्रोजेक्शन बनाऊंगा कि मेरे ये साल में अगले साल में मेरा ये पांच दिन बहुत इंपोर्टेंट है ये पच्चीस दिन छुट्टियां हैं तो यहाँ मैंने रेट अपना नीचे कर दूंगा और यहाँ मैं रेट को ऊपर कर दूंगा तो इस तरह हम प्रॉपर हर दिन का रेट को हम वेरीफाई करते हैं उसको उसको मैपिंग करते हैं कि ये फोरकास्टिंग मेरे जो अगले तीन सौ पैंसठ दिन का पीरियड है मैं उसको किस तरह किस दिन में किस चैनल में क्या रेट रखूंगा ताकि मेरा को वो जो मुझे दो डेढ़ लाख रुपए की रेवेन्यू मुझे आना है इफ आई आई वांट टू अचीव दैट वन एंड हाफ लाख रुपीज ऑफ रेवेन्यू फॉर माय होटल आई हैव टू प्लान इट प्रॉपरली अदरवाइज आई कैन नॉट आई कैन नॉट सस्टेन और कैन नॉट यू नो आई कैन नॉट यू नो अचीव दैट रेवेन्यू और आई कैन नॉट अचीव दैट पर्टिकुलरली रेवेन्यू फॉर माई होटेल सो दैट मीन्स इफ आई फेल टूडे so that means i'll short up my budget if i'm short up my budget my company will not grow my company will not grow we will not grow because if company grows we grows if company doesn't grow we don't grow so that's the situation okay now another part of this is i'm talking about room part so another part is your food and beverage so now our revenue managers also apply and help people to hotels how to match how to uh, you know uh, how to uh, how to prepare a contingency plan for a next level of uh, you know next level of uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, ancillary revenue apart from room how i can drag my uh, food and beverage revenue my laundry revenue my spa revenue so all these revenue managers keep planning it suppose uh, you must have uh, you must have gone through various website even if you go to the today lots website like we give various plans cp map ap uh, i think you must have know what is cp what is map what is ap correct so now by 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 this is by keeping these plans what i am helping i am helping my i am helping my team i am helping my uh, you know hotel to achieve that portion of revenue ancillary suppose a customer making a reservation today on my website so what will do if i am also putting efforts to increase my food and beverage revenue my buffet will sell my uh, you know i have a bakery my cake will sell my pastry will sell my you know something would be additionally i'm giving a, a customer to you know book it on my website so that customer can book it and customer can you know uh, uh, pre book it so that i can get the profit of the revenue so that is that is that is basically uh, you know efforts of for any revenue manager to enhance both room revenue and other part uh, other uh, you know ancillary revenue now now next part will come very uh, you know uh, that's a, that's a uh, kind of uh, important uh, aspects of revenue management is whatever revenue comes whatever revenue comes what is the i mean how this works i mean uh, how this is going to be you know um, strategize uh, you know my systematic revenue policy uh, how i'm going to apply revenue management how to you know uh, uh part of revenue management now see let me go let us go little bit inside now uh when 
we registered our hotel you know uh, as i said the source of revenue one is a sales another part is online so again the online uh, part is uh, you know uh, online part is very important how uh, the percent of business comes to online distributions uh, I, I i think uh, every uh, one of us are aware now what is the online part of revenue are we aware yes sir okay so now in online revenue management there is uh, there is a different uh, you know uh, there is a different section of uh, if you go deeper section and deeper so there is a different section of uh, you know divided uh, the online revenue management system now there is basically two uh, you know basic uh, dif- uh, division into online revenue management one is offline revenue management and one is offline channels and one is online channels now if you divide into online channels and offline channels i'll i'll help you to understand that uh, let us go first online part so online part again divided into three aspects one domestic channels another international channels and third one is your global distribution which is called the gds so uh, so gds online distribution channels offline distribution channels so now dom- what is about domestic channels so who are the domestic channels so domestic channels in in about the domestic channels uh, you know you know about make my trip go i bebo clear trip yatra tri um, and uh, uh, yatra.com uh, your is my trip then happy is go then you know uh, clear trip then lot many 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 domestic players are there in international channels we have agoda booking.com expedia agencia hotels.com you have hrs you have c trip so these are the international channels where our hotels has been registered and we continuously getting revenue <coughs> third part is gds global distribution channels so now global distribution channels is what is global distribution channels so global distribution channels means our hotel has been registered under the global distribution management act on four major gds so for a gds we need a gds partner for in our case our case like in the lords our partner is saber so there are four gds partners you must be aware but again i'll re- rephrase it the major one is saber amadeus galileo worldspan so these are the four major gds channels again i'll repeat you amadeus saber galileo worldspan so these four major gds channels are today playing a major role globally so they are very much strictly channels okay because they don't allow a normal customer to go and book it they only allow to they only allow a, a registered ieta ieta approved travel agents who go and book there because there's a lot of money required to register under gds and to use gds in gds platform what normally uh, we, people do they can book a uh, airline they can book a hotel they can book a uh, foreign exchange they can book a transportation so that means if our hotel is not available on gds so some people the registered travel agents of globally 6 lakh plus travel agents are iata registered travel agents globally so they are not going to see it so that means registering your yourself there is a fees there is annual fees and there is a reservation fees involved i'll come to second session where i'll keep i'll, I'll go to deeper deeper and deeper section i'm just touching everything now now the next uh, the very important part is now today uh, apart from our domestic 
I'm a, we, we, we spoke about domestic channels. We spoke about international channels. We spoke about GDS. Another very important part is our own brand website. We call it brand website. And brand website associated with mapped with the brand booking engine. So today, if you go to a Lord's website, there is a brand booking engine associated. So what we do? We do many promotions. We do many customized promotions, uh, you know, to gather, achieve that revenue on our own brand website. See, any domestic channels, international channels, GDAs, there is a lot of expenditure. There is a lot of uh, commissions available in the bookings, you know, which is the expenditure for a, a, a hotel. Definitely, as a hotel, we want to save a penny, save some money, so that we always encourage the customer to make a reservations on uh, in our uh, you know uh, brand website so brand website a very very important tool for a hotel a hotel cannot uh, you know cannot um, uh, uh, you know uh, deviate themselves without registering a good website without having a good backing engine because we cannot every time rely upon a third party channels. Okay, now I, I'm just summarize you. In India, a 35 percent of the booking comes from online channels, but in a, from a brand website, it's only comes one to two percent of business coming from brand booking engine. So that so so every hotel here today focused. How to increase that two percent up to five percent or six percent so that that thirty five percent who are getting business from online channels like you know as I said go I B O M M T make my trip and your uh, uh, you know clear trip your yatra or maybe agoda dot com booking dot com Expedia so that means your expenditure is high so that means people want to convert those customers from your brand you know OTAs or online distribution channels to a brand website because when a customer falls to your brand website we make it our paid customer we make it a regular customer and this will be very helpful for us because when a customer book come and book us when a customer come and book us on a brand website and we will get direct revenue and customer also will get a, a direct satisfactions so that he doesn't need to involve himself into third party channels <coughs> there is also a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, uh, cancels and policy channel to channel are different there's they also charge some processing fee so so we always highlight a customer so please book it on our web brand website so that you will be always getting you know benefit out of the uh, brand website and it will be always helpful to give you what exactly you want on uh, room revenue on other aspects of uh, uh, you know revenue for food and beverage you can book a buffet you can book a car on during your reservations so all these aspects are uh, very important in terms of our brand website and in case of uh, you know uh, all this kind of so now i'm just uh you know uh, uh, apart from this now apart from when a customer come when a customer come book it on your third party channels so that means that is your that is a source of revenue now the customer comes our operation team has to be very careful if a customer come from a those particular section of online sources so our, our, our uh, team are very uh, prominent or our team are very much focused towards you know giving them a uh, best level of uh, you know uh, services so they are satisfied now apart from these under the revenue management under the revenue management that is as i said that is called a offline revenue management what is offline revenue management <clears throat> so just give me a second i'll talk about offline revenue management
Okay. Now, what is offline revenue management? So, offline revenue management is basically uh, a called, uh, you know, RFP. What is RFP? It's called uh, request for proposals. Nowadays, big, big companies, MNCs, they don't contact hotels directly. What they do? So they simply do a bidding process. Normally, you know that, like you know, they 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 invite all the rates from the hotels, and once the rates while loading, they ask almost uh, seven hundred uh, different kind of questions. So every hotel need to follow, need to uh, you know, uh, need to follow that basics, need to follow uh, you know that. Uh, uh, basic questions of uh, what is your hotel, your security policy. Every hotel need to fill that bid. So when the hotel will, you know, fill the bid, you know what happened? These bid will be directly submitted to the co company, and the company will review the rates. If it is the lowest rate or everything is satisfied, the everything then will go to about. Just to fulfill that, uh, uh, you know, uh, customer will, uh, once the company will map that, accept that rates, then company send us a rate loading instructions. So we have to reload those, we, we need to load those rates in our website and in our uh, uh, GDS channels. And when it is loaded, then they are approved travel agents. You know, make the reservations. Be it in a sitting in a USA, sitting in a London, sitting in a Australia. If your company is in a RFP accepted rate, so your company, your hotel rate is will be visible across the world anywhere. So that means we will be getting that benefit of you know benefit, and we can easily available for those customers. Now, uh, while I'm was talking about GDS, I just Forget about touch about one one aspect. So for, with GDS, another offline business is connected, which we call TFC travel management. In our language, we also call them consortia. What is a consortia? That is another part of revenue management, revenue online, offline revenue management source. So what is a consortia? Consortia is basically uh, uh, kind of uh, travel management companies. So today in world globally, four major consortia is today available. You can write it down. It is one is American Express, second one is Saver, third one is uh, sorry, I mean one is American Express, second one is uh, Carlson Morgan CWT, third one is BCD, and fourth one is. HRG, which is now turned as Denata. So these are the four major consortia, uh, you know, uh, who play, playing a global role for you know uh, our uh, uh, hotel industry. What they do normally? They normally book on a GDS globally hotels, global hotels, like as a uh, we in a lot's hotels also. Whatever I told you today, as a lot very proudly say that we are always, I mean, everywhere we are now registered. We are registered in all, almost 30 to 30, 30 across 30 to 35 channels across the globe. We are available on GDS, we are available on consortia programs. So now, Lords is globally available. Lords is, you know, as far as Lords is concerned. But any hotel today, five star hotel, four star hotel,
detailed study of revenue management i'm just touching today on the basics so one more thing i'll include here that apart from this revenue management another very important part is when a customer comes so customer stays while they go and check out so there are also a review management so review means your reputation management that is also now today part of our revenue management because if your review is not good your customer is never going to come again on your channel to book so every positive review attract a 10% of new customers and today 99% customer book a room after viewing a review of the hotel even if our take ourselves even if we go to a flipkart or zomato or you know a family you know or maybe we are purchasing something on amazon or something we first see the review isn't it so that means when we a review management is a very important part or similarly it is also applicable for the hotels so that means so this is also important part uh, once the customer books through your any source of channel your review comes a very vital very important and you then the review you put a review and you take a review for that and every hotelier wish to have a positive review so that other customer who sees the channel see the they, they, they travel they go into deeper section of channel to analyze okay i am going to surat let's see what is the surat tells you okay it is good oh wow it is five very nice then let's book it so that way customer book a room in the hotel after viewing a positive review so so when you have a positive review that means you attracted your customer again and it goes on and goes on and goes on so this is about a little bit about what you know how the following the review management i mean uh, reputation management so this is what we learn today and just uh, uh mr choudhary we have enough time uh i think this is the 40 minutes it is automatically cut off for that like the timing time schedule is the 40 minutes okay yeah that uh, okay. this session may be automatically disconnected from the zoom so it is that Achha, uh, i'm my... i'm just uh, i don't know uh this is the uh, 40 uh, sir i don't know how i am audible or audible or Well, yeah, you are you are you are audible, very nice. Like sound from. Thank you. Thank okay. Thank you, sir. I, I will. I, I, if you can, if, ha. So, uh, coming forward, I would like to keep one more session or two more sessions. So you can uh, yes, allow yes, me, sir. you know, keep uh, you know during this lockdown. Like so I'll come next to the right, little illustrative and. right sir so you can take a right, uh, feedback from each of you can take the feedback from each of them and let me know. right sir right sir i'll take the feedback and i send you the video uh, audio also this is a recorded thank you thank you sir Absolutely. thank you for uh, thank you thank time. you this is our great opportunity thank you to expand our knowledge about the revenues for that it is the first uh, in in the world right play actually it is the you hold for every hotel years hospitality sectors they hold that revenue section when they are the strong in revenue they are rising very fast and this is the happening lots due to you and the students that uh, i uh, convey the message so he is the pillar of that uh, lots one of the pillar right or left hand you can say for that our group because revi without revenue can do anything for that like the the finance one major parts and mr sarda the doing the role very nicely i know very well for last two and half years and uh, thank you mr sarda to to like present uh, this opportunity to us for that and uh, Our students also take uh, the knowledge, and uh, definitely I'll arrange for the next two to three sessions for that. I already discussed the ma'am also. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Sir. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Namaskar, and uh, we should stay safe, stay at home, and also Mr. Chaudhary, you should stay safe and stay at home. Be motivated, yes. read lot of things, and encourage increase your knowledge. Thank you. Yes.
थैंक यू सर नमस्कार